So earlier this year, you saw me prune this rose bush. This rose bush now is about six and a half feet tall. So we're going to do some pruning, some deadheading here. Now what I do is, I don't know if you can see it, but you just got to trust me here. Is there's the top one, top leaf set here has three leaves. You want to go down to the first one that has five leaves, not four, but five. And just above it, you want to prune it. So there you have it. That's number one. We got a whole bunch of these to prune. Now I'm going to leave that one for another couple of days, but here's another one. Three, three, and there's five. There's four, and there's five. Bam. Just like that. And we're going to go through here in the back here. We have got a lot of dead ones. Lots of dead flowers. So we're going to take those all out and make it pretty. Bring you back when I'm done. So if you look right there, that's where all the spent flowers were. We got them all pruned out of there. And this rose bush looks a whole lot better than it did. So if you prune your roses two to three times a week, your plant will always look like this. There will always be an abundant amount of flowers on them. It just keeps it in bloom all season long. This one here is by far my best plant for production. I have another one that's a prettier red but this one here is not not too bad in itself so when you prune it at the fifth leaf you want to cut it just above the fifth leaf it encourages more growth and longer stem roses if you just cut the very little top off you'll get new growth but you won't get a long stem rose out of it most of the time you won't there could be exceptions to that. Obviously, each plant is different, but in theory, that's the way it works. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the next plants. I'm going to show you two more plants that are different. One is all the blooms are just terrible looking. The whole plant looks bad. And then the next one is a similar plant it's tall it's not as bushy but it's working on it so I'll give you an idea of maybe some mistakes you're making or if I'm doing something that maybe isn't what you do you know give me a suggestion I don't care you know life is all about learning about time you think you get all figured out it's over so if you keep sending me stuff I don't have it figured out and it won't be over for me <laughs> so anyway let's get on to that next plant okay this one here boy I've been leaving it so I can show you and it needs some serious help here I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this and have you see it this one might be too far gone yeah, it's looking pretty sad So here's one here, take it down to the first five, as you can see there's only three on the closest one, three on that side, so got five leaves here. We're going to do it down here on this one the same way, and this one is really, really going to be way down there, another three next one's five so we're gonna continue this get it looking as good as we can here we left it too long and then I'll bring you back
Okay, so you can see it looks a lot better. But in the long run, this plant is going to have to be moved. It's right underneath this corkscrew willow. And it probably only gets three or four hours of sunlight a day. And it's showing signs of stress here. Got a little bit of leaf damage and it just doesn't look good. It's a little leggy because it's searching for the sun. So we're going to go ahead and move that at the end of the season. This is just an absolutely gorgeous rose here. It too is about six and a half feet tall. And I had it pruned way down. So unfortunately something's happened here and this one, this bloom has been broke. So take it down to the first five, which is right here. So we reduced it by about that much. So obviously something's been going on here because I've got another broken one right here. So again, take it down first five. Here's the four I've been telling you about. Don't know if you can see that, but this one has four leaves. So four is not good. You want to go down to five. And since it's broke, it's almost spent anyway. We're going to go ahead and take it off of there. Now we've got on this one, got a little bit of mold here on this one. It's dying. So we're going to go ahead and take these off. You should take them all off. I'm just going to do a few for right now. Save some time on the video. Like the one I just dropped. You want to get that one picked up. You want those out of here because those mold spores, they'll, they'll continue to uh, affect the plant. So here's one that I obviously missed last time I pruned. It was stuck in the middle there. It's only about, the stem was only about three inches long. Here again, I got the four leaves. One, two, three, four. Next one's five. So I'm going to go ahead and prune this one up and bring you back. All right, so on this one here, you can see how it's really at the end of its life cycle. So rather than leaving it on there and coming back and pruning it off in two days, I'm gonna take it now. And then I won't have to be out here every single day doing this. Um, if that's what you wanna do, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. I just got a lot of other things on my plate and I just soon take them while I'm standing here. So we've got another one right here, same thing. Yeah, it's in pretty bad shape. So we'll just put that on the compost. Of course, before I do it, I'll make sure they're all cut up fairly shorter than some of these. Some of these are fairly long I'm taking off this plant not so much but the first one yeah it, it had a lot of long stuff on it and you can see how long it's taken me I'm talking to you but it's not taking me too long to do this here we've got a whole stem Everything's dead on it. So this one got away from me. And you see how long the stem is. You know, as I go through, I'll cut it here, here, just like that. And then it'll uh, compost down faster. Now this one we got to be careful with because it's got new growth on it. So I like to leave those. If I don't get them in time, I like to leave them. 
And that one I just accidentally broke off, if you've seen that. Gotta be a little careful with these things. Now this one here is actually turned to a creamy yellow and a little bit of pink on the bottom still. So we took it off. I think you're getting the idea here. Let me get out of the way. That looks a lot better getting them flowers off. The dead flowers. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see my hand out there. <laughs> anyway. As you can see, it's kind of leaning that way a little bit. It, too, is getting crowded out by the corkscrew willow. And then I have a green lace leaf maple here, which don't ask me what the technical name is because I couldn't tell you. Hope everybody enjoyed this one. Have a good rest of your day and take care.